Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Virtue's Last Reward. Today, Sigma's teenage dream is about to come true. <laughs> Alright, you silvery <laughs> bastard. Time to meet your doom. Let's do this. Yeah! Damn, you're excited. Hey, don't misunderstand me. I'm just really anxious to find a clue in here. Aren't you? You want to let me do it then? Uh, I'm sorry. Please just let me have this. And get on with it. <laughs> I mean, you know, thanks, bye for being understanding. Oh my god, you actually made <laughs> this a mini game? How do I do this? Okay. YouTube, don't look. So, a butterfly? Apparently she has the fa same fashion sense of freaking Clover. Is there any way I can do this faster? I mean, not fast, like, not for that reason. It's just the noise is annoying as hell. Oh. One. Triangle down there. No, that's just a tan mark. Six. Okay. I would love it if you could just start taking off her hair. <laughs> uh, oh, we can just go. Oh, shark! Yo! That's a very colorful tattoo. Oh. Man, how much money do they pay you to get these, these tans in the shape of the numbers? Very specific. Okay, let's see. Should probably write this down, huh? Complete. Well, I wanted to write those down. <laughs> Damn! I look away for a second and you're scratching it all off. Yeah, I noticed some things that might be clues, so I kept going. You mean these marks on her arms and legs? Yeah. There are four of them. A star, a circle, a diamond, and a triangle. Oh, let me get my memo pad out. All right, so we got star six, we got circle one, we got triangle nine, or down triangle nine, and diamond eight. Hey, what are you doing? You've already scratched it all off. No, I'm not done yet. This blue part still needs to go. Sigma. I don't think that part's gonna come off, no matter how hard you use scrape. What do you think these four shapes mean? The star has a six, the circle has a one, the diamond has an eight, and the triangle has a nine. You know what this is? Yes, I do, actually. It's for the first room they were in. Have you seen those? Yes, I have. I just kind of think there was gonna be another joke here or something. But, alright. <laughs> that was... Definitely something I didn't think I would ever have to do in a game. Or in real life, for that matter. I don't even think they make posters like that. Uh, I will say, my my dad had a collection of these cups when uh, I was younger. He probably still has them somewhere. Uh, that if you filled them up with hot water, the the, <laughs> the bikini girls on the, cu in the, on the cups would become naked. So, you know, <laughs> there's that. So they do make stuff like it. Uh, let's see, we got circle first, so it's one, then star, which is six, then diamond, which is eight, and then triangle, even though it's the wrong direction, uh, nine. So, one, six, eight, nine. Let's give this a go. Oh, I need to find the key. Oh! Well, alrighty then. Let's go back to Alice's room. I thought we could do that one, but no, that makes sense. There, there is a keyhole there, and we have yet to find a key. And this is the first one we tried and got wrong. Four, nine, eight, five, right? Yes, four, nine, eight, five. So, four, nine, eight, five. 
Did I not do? Oh, man, I must have got that wrong. I must have pressed the wrong button last time, right? Ha! Piece of cake. Wow, good job. That was pretty impressive. Thank you. It was. There's something in there. A cassette tape. Small cassette tape. All right, so we need to go back to the other room that had the open cassette tape, yes. And play it? Here. Put the ca putting the cassette tape in now. All I have to do is close the lid. All right, I put the tape in. Now what do I do? I want to hear what's on it. Um. Okay. You pick up the phone then. I don't know. I'm really confused. Well, the only phone we could pick up was in the first room, so let's go back there. Huh, where should I call next? The phone. Well, that's no good. Can't connect to anything. Is there a phone number in here that I, that I need to get? No number. Locker. So we've opened all the lockers except for the one that requires a key. Not something silly, just like 0003, right? I'll try it. Uh, oh. No. What if we just do this? Oh, it's, oh, no. Yeah. Okay, so we can call the rooms from here. So what is it, room two? Who's this? Just me. Better than justice, I suppose. <laughs> really? You can do better than that. I'm hanging up. Come on, wait. What do you want? <laughs> and where are you calling from? Room one. Huh. I guess they have some kind of internal line. Seems like it. So what is it you... Huh? What's this? Uh... Agricola? Agricola 9-2? I'm gonna write that down. Nine, two. I didn't know that you were into German style board game farming simulations. It wasn't agriculture, was it? Oh, asterisk, asterisk, nine, two. Okay, it wasn't. It wasn't agriculture, right? And my brain was just fucking with me. Like, it happens, but. Normally when that happens, it's only like a few letters off. And that did not look like it had enough letters for agriculture. <laughs> Anyways, how on earth could you get those two mixed up? That's what it says on the phone display. Maybe it's a clue? Huh. Anyways, I'm gonna go, go back to searching in this room. Call me if you find anything. Alright, let, let's call room three, I guess. There is no phone number associated with this button. What? That's weird. Why can't I call room three? Oh, I thought Alice was in room three. Whatever. Who is this? Oh, hey, Alice. So, you are there. Sigma, is that you? Yeah. Where are you calling from? From inside the house. That's right next door. Why did you call me? You could just walk. Wait a minute. What's wrong? There's something on the display. It says 25 asterisk asterisk. All right, so 25. 
nine two. All right. Two five and Azure Actress. Do you think it's a clue? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna go look around this room a little more. I'll see you later. Okay. So. Two five nine two. Ring, ring, ring. Banana fo. Bud. Bud, ba, 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 ba. Congratulations. <laughs> that voice. Ah. Oh. Looks like you found the answer. The number you just entered is the number for the room in the third room. But the buttons here on the top of the phone are just shortcuts. That means all the other phones are actual numbers too. So I guess that's not really important. Anyway, you're calling room three right now. Room three? Then that means, since you're so clever, I'm sure you figured it out by now. But yes, you're right. I'm speaking to you from a pre-recorded tape. So you can get grasp me all the questions you like, but I won't be able to answer. I'm afraid that this little talk is going to be a bit one-sided. Then again, it's going to be very little talk and because I only have one thing to tell you. Have a look on the left screen above the phone. The answer you're looking for is hidden there. What answer you ask? Well, I can't help you with that one. Bye! Have a nice trace. Left? Alright, so... Two, six, five, two, and then five, two, six, five? Oh, it's just backwards. Yeah, wait, no. Oh, you know what that probably is? It's probably, it's probably five, nine, Five. Maybe I'll put a put brackets. So five nine two five. Yeah. All right. Well, there we are. All right. Well, there's another four-digit number. What am I supposed to do with this? I guess I need to enter it somewhere. So. Uh, two, six, no, six, five, two. Let's see if it does anything. Oh, hey, key. There's some kind of pin in there. Let's see. A metal pin. I already got the, that pin thing, so I can close the lid. And let's try f five, two, six, five. No. Let's try five, nine, two, five. No? Okay. Let's try... Oh, God. Uh, I didn't actually expect that to work. Explanation point 378163771513445064506. What in the name of... I don't know what that's supposed to be. Uh, H E double hockey sticks? No. The fact that the boob number actually worked is shocking to me. Uh, we'll probably have to come back here for something else later, but let's, first, let's do this over here, which is 1689. Oh, yeah, I need to put the key in. Oh, I already did that. The hell was that? What was that noise? Maybe I can type stuff in now? So it is one, which is this, and six, eight, nine. No, wait, what? One, six, eight, nine. So we got circle, which is one, star, which is six, diamond, which is eight, and triangle, which is nine. Oh, okay. 
I don't think that's going to be it. But we can try it. Um, so we'll do one. And then six. Since the triangle was upside down, maybe the nine was actually upside down. So we'll do six again. And then eight. No, okay, never mind. One. Six. Eight, nine. One, six, eight, nine. Nine, eight, six, one. Okay. Sure. All right. Yeah. It opened. Uh, oh. This is the code we saw for the ambidextrous room. I mean, it's different code, of course, but it looks really similar. I think it's probably open to the safe. That was... No, 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 not Memo. Archive. That was, yeah, that was the extra one. Oh, we should probably read that file, then. Because we haven't read those yet, huh? Uh, let's do that now. This one, AB game. This first the ambidextrous game. It's fair to assume that AB is short for ambidextrous, but it also represents the two choices each player is given: A and B. A is the ally, B is the betray. When using the voting machine in the AB room, each player must choose to either ally or betray before the time limit is up. A round of the AB game is played between the members of the group that went through the previous chromatic door together. The two members of the pair play against a single solo. Each party can choose to either cooperate or betray. The BP of each player will change depending on that choice. If you choose the ally, your opponent chooses and your opponent chooses the ally, you get two BP, betray, you minus two BP, you betray your ally, uh, you get three. If you choose to betray and your opponent betrays, you get zero. If you break the rule, rules, or if your BP falls below zero, you will be penalized. More specifically, a set of needles in your bracelet will be activated, injecting you with two different drugs. The first one is an anesthetic called Soparol B, uh, beta. Nine minutes later, this will be followed by a muscle relaxant called tubo Tubocurine. The muscle relaxant will cause your lungs to cease functioning, killing you. In other words, the penalty for death is, uh, penalty, the penalty for failure is death. I would imagine, wouldn't it cause your heart to stop before your lungs to stop? At the, or even at the same time, right? Because the muscle relaxant goes through your bloodstream, obviously, and that goes through your heart first. So I would imagine that would cause the heart to stop before the lungs to stop. I am not at all familiar with how this shit works, but in my commoner brain here, that just sounds like a more likely you know, first side effect. I'm not saying that it wouldn't cause your lungs to stop. It would to stop. Just, it would stop eventually if your heart stopped. That's for sure. But still, a machine used by the participants of the AB games to register their votes. It uses a touch panel. Ah, voting machine. Uh, uses a touch panel and is not to be mistaken for an ATM. Uh, hazmat suit. The manual found in the peck contains the following tech the text in reference to these suits. The air in this factory is kept to be at a high pressure relative to the outside environment. This is to prevent the air contaminated by the virus from entering. All persons wishing to exit the facility must provide, uh, proceed through the pressure exchange chamber. That's what PEC stands for? In order to prevent the spread of the virus and maintain a sterile environment, all persons entering the PEC must wear a specialized hazmat suit. Anyone not wearing a suit will be shot on sight. It doesn't say that, Kronos, but I know. But they should. Uh, scotch, a type of whiskey made in Scotland. Scotland. Uh, it is a unique aroma. Comes, I almost called it Scotchland. Its unique aroma comes from the peat. 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 Use the peat. Use in the in, in its manufacture. Huh. Scotch is Ten Miyogi's favorite drink. He often claims a little scotch should scratch this itch after returning from from work, which annoys Quark, most because of it's a bad drinking habit. A well-known drink made by putting a scoop of vanilla ice cream in some root beer. Oh, root beer float. Also known as a black cow? What? Quark has taken the saying, root beer floats my boat, which war warms Ten's heart. That's a good saying. <laughs> root beer floats my boat. That's it, huh? Okay. 
So I'm assuming the correct password we have to put in here is the the two five something or other. Why'd that happen? I don't know why that happened, dog. So it's uh two six nine two. No. Okay, so is it five nine two five? No. Is it five two six five? What do you mean? Two six five two then five two six five then five nine two five okay what should I do I don't know I'm very disappointed by the fact that that's not there so I guess two five nine two again can't hear anything. What happened to the tape? Well, it's still there. I guess it only can't listen to it twice. What the hell are these? <laughs> Oh, okay. That makes sense. Okay, so this is a little bit worrying. Yeah. I mean, we could try two, five, nine, two. No. So the message we got from zero was two, six, five, two. That's not working. The other message we got was five, Two six five, but the the six was kind of like reverse, so I thought maybe it was upside down, which would make five nine two five the proper response. Huh. This is two. This is six. This is five. And this is two. That's not it. And it's not five, two, nine, five? No, okay. Kronos, you know the definition of insanity, right? Yeah, I know, but like... I don't know what you want. <laughs> I don't know what you want from me. We got a lot of new stuff here, huh? Should I do? I don't know. I actually don't know. Want to look at this book again? We can get the golden file, right? Which is Moon Moon Star. Was it a sun or an actual star? 
It was a sun. This gets the golden file for us. Which we wanted anyways. Man, what good is a victory dance when there's no one there to see it? I'm lonely. Oh well, at least I have that poster. Um... <sighs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that still says F you, huh? That's hilarious. I have no idea. I don't have any idea. We can try calling the boob number again. I mean, there's a lot of numbers there, and we could try them. But I think what I'm gonna try... One, I wanna Google this at some point, because it seems very specific. But I'm not gonna Google it just yet. Six three seven seven one five one three four four five oh six. So I'm like, no, we can't do O. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say the last four digits is something we could probably want to try. What in the name of? I don't know. Alice, help! No use. No one's answering. What the hell, Alice? Hi. Oh, come on. No, we can't do zero. There, there is no zero button here. We could try the first four numbers, which would be. Uh... No, we can't actually. I mean, yeah, this is what we could do here because this is three. And then seven would be this. And then eight would be this. And then one would be this. Yeah, I didn't think that was gonna work. Cause I'm pretty sure what they they put that in as a joke. I mean, it's my joke game that, you know, I've learned of since I was like a young man. But still I guess. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna keep searching around. I really don't know what else to do here. So that was for this. There's nothing in there. And... The bed was for the calendar. I must... I maybe wrote the numbers down wrong? I mean, that wouldn't be the first time that I accidentally did that. So, I'm probably gonna have to go back and look at the recording then, if that's the case. <laughs> um, make sure I got it right. Yeah, alright, you know, I guess we'll call it here for now, and then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna check out the, the recording. <laughs> see if I wrote the numbers right. And, uh, yeah. That's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like and below. If you're not subscribed yet, I want to hear my video so I can check out some of the content, see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. We all have a great day.